Hey Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys. So 13 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a beautiful login screen like this. It will be a full project. So let's create a new project without wasting our time by going to file new and then project. Here we'll be creating a cross platform app. So I'll be selecting a cross platform and give it a name as you like. Click on OK. Here I'll be using shared project in order to use Jamrin Live Player. You can use PCL project also. Here we'll be talking about main project rather than project that are targeting both Android as well as iOS. Inside our shared project, we have app.jml as well as code behind. Here the main page is a placeholder which contains the page to be loaded. It's an area where we are evaluating our app to start from the position. Now let's add content inside our content page. We have already discussed about content page in previous sessions. I will add grid inside our content page .content. Here we'll be designing our login page and I'll be giving that color as white and then I'll be closing that. There's a XAML attribute specifically for use with generic argument called X type argument. The package padding on the content page tag is set to 20 units on the top, but that's only to avoid overlapping the status bar on the iPhone. Padding isn't required on Android and Windows phone. Fortunately, there's a way to embed some specific markup in XAML. A file using a class name on platform. Now I will close that content page dot padding property. And we already know that grid are arranged in horizontal position. So we have to define grid rows at first. Here I'll be defining height of 80 star and 50. We can see it practically. Here I'll be giving select language as 80 height and giving a height for start for infinite position so that my image and login button are placed at exact condition and giving a 50 height for sign off for new account. Now I'll be placing stack orientation inside my grid row 1 and placing that orientation as horizontal horizontal option as center and giving a margin of 10 and it should be placed inside my stack layout 1 and I'll be giving that text or language as select language and given a source of down arrow.png I'll give that icon images link in the description below you can download at any time and given a margin of 0300 so that it can be placed at center and vertical option at start that's all for my stack orientation and image source down arrow should be placed inside my drawable folder of both android as well as ios project here's my down arrow facebook icon as well as image and i should be placing inside my resource folder of ios project also you can make your company logo as image circle as I have already downloaded a sample image from my internet and for icon images you can use Android Asset Studio. Then select the first option and create icon images from here. Now let's come to our main project. Here, this is only one code that will be doing all my work at single time. Here, I'll be using a grid row as 1, margin as 20, 0, 20, 0. And then giving a row definition height of star 50, 50, auto, 40, 40, auto, star. Here, star defines my infinite position for my images as well as logos or labels. Here height 50 represent my email as well as auto will represent the passport and then height of 40 for button and then again login to a super shooter for 40 and giving an auto for or as well as login. Here we are dividing the horizontal rows at first and for that image source sam.png and given a height of 70 vertical option to towards my end. Here I'll be using entry tag so that we can enter email or phone number of user and as user is allowed to add password and if a user is in trouble for getting sign in 
then he can select it using a label the last stack layout is for my facebook.png where a user is allowed to log in with facebook now for my last stack layout grid row s2 i'll be dragging and dropping here i have given a height request of one and background as its respected color we can see over here and if a user don't have an account then he is allowed to sign up by this option now let's run our project whether it gets compiled and built or not okay it's debugging let's see as i'm using physical device and reflecting using visor okay we got our expected output and it will be similar for iOS also. Thanks, developers. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for more tutorials.